Central Kentucky's PGA Tour stop is here as the Barbasol Championship tees off tomorrow morning. Evening Edition's Michael Burke is at the course where today's Pro-Am golfers battled sweltering heat. It was hot, it was steamy. Some of the golfers who played in the Pro-Am today came off the course looking as if they had gone 12 rounds with Mike Tyson. Welcome to this week's Barbasol Championship. Intense heat, humidity, and storms are in the forecast, yet the PGA Tour's Barbasol Championship will press on. Did so today with the traditional Wednesday Pro-Am tournament. This year's Barbasol, once it begins on Thursday, has some added juice. First of all, it's not going up against the British Open for once. That's something that could help improve the gallery numbers and the TV ratings. The second positive is that the British Open has attached an automatic qualifying spot to this week's winner here. So that could make the week, especially late Sunday afternoon, an awful lot of fun. But that winner, whoever it may be, will have to grind through a few days of excessive heat and the likelihood of some rain delays. It's impressive, these guys that can go four rounds in this, and we're all we're all kind of dying after one, but it's uh, it's really impressive what they can do, especially those caddies carrying those bags too. We try to you know, make sure everyone's educated. Uh, lots of hydration this week. Uh, in case of severe weather, there are carts strategically placed all around the course, and that's in case we have to have an evacuation. Well, hopefully we can avoid a lot of that and not have too many play interruptions this weekend. We're told that Sunday's winner will go immediately from the trophy ceremony to Bluegrass Airport to charter a flight to New York, and then it's on to the British Open. In Jessamine County, Michael Burke for Evening Edition.